So in theory of computation, there are mathematical notations we just have to understand because it will be helping us to do whatever uh, calculations we'll be doing. So the following five are the major notation, mathematical notation we just have to understand how they work, what are their meanings and when and how to use them. So the first one we have here, we have alphabets. So I will, I will give you the meaning. We say alphabet, this can be defined as a finite collection of set of symbols and its denotation is sigma. So alphabet is denoted using sigma. Is denoted as sigma. I said it is the collection, it is the finite collection of sets, sunny collection of sets of symbols. And when we say symbols, symbols, example of what I mean is that this. So we have this, we have this, this are example. Um, okay, let's say zero and one. So from this zero and one, we can generate other ones. So this is what it means. Or we could also say uh, something like this. A, B, C, and down towards, down to Z. So, it depends on whatever type of symbols you want to use. So that is what alphabet is. It is a finite collection of sets of symbols. Now, another one there is the next one, strings. What are strings? Strings is denoted by W. We say string is the finite collection of symbols over alphabets. The finite collection, it is the finite collection of symbols over. alphabet now another word for it now is you can also see um you could see or it is a finite collection of symbols over alphabet or generated from alphabet that simply means that we get our strings from the alphabet so an example of these strings we are talking about is when we mix something like this. Um, example, we have such 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, get, you know, 0, 0, 1, like that. So it goes that way. Uh, example of what? So it doesn't have an end, it continues that way. So these are strings. These are strings. And these strings are gotten from this word generated from this alphabet because from here we have one zero rather next here if we do zero one we have it here if we do one one we have it here and the rest so you continue that way to eternity and um, next is length of strings so in some cases we'll be asked what is the length of string length of string is denoted by this length on strings it is the total number of symbols in a string it is the total number of symbols in a string So if I say something like this now, I say 
Example, I'll give you an example. See, A, B, C. This is a string now. If I want to give the length of this string, I'm going to say length of strings equals to, equals to what? Three. So this is more like we say in sets where we talk about cardinality, the numbers of elements in a word, in a sense. That's more like it. The next one is what? Um, next one is um, empty set. Empty set. Empty set is denoted using E. Or the E we are written in. We have to put it in this form. Now, it is called... It is called epsilon. Epsilon. So what is epsilon? Epsilon is an empty set. A string with no symbol. So if we have a string and we have no symbol, it's considered to be an epsilon. Okay. Next is the language. We say the language is a set of strings generated from what? From alphabet, from the alphabet or sequence of what is that? Okay. Is a set of strings generated from alphabet or sequence of symbols. It is a set of string generated from alphabets or sequence of symbols and it is denoted it is denoted by uh, L. L. So I want to believe that this I've just said now is clear. And um, if this is clear, that means we have been able to um, proceed. We progress to some extent. So let us see how I want to Is there any questions on this? Let's check if there's any question. Hmm? So we can move on, right? Now strings are, it could be letters, it could be number. And the letter, it could be A, B, C. And it could be, um, if it is, uh, if it happens to be A, B, that means it will get to Z. But mostly in numbers, it is what is being used in number are binaries, zero and one. So there is no appearance of uh, two there. We use zero and one, and it's from that zero and one. In fact, to be honest, eh, you see this, um, even this A, B, C, most times C is not included. Most times C is not included. And when you see C included, there's no problem. But when it comes to 
number we always have zero and one this zero and one is where every other string every other string will be generated from no matter the string you are looking for these two strings these two lengths uh, length of string which is zero and one it is where every other strings are generated from so now let's look at something very important now we've seen we've talked about the the language it is a set of uh, strings set of strings generated from alphabet or sequence of what are symbols let us now see consider this question will i call it a question or okay when we say length of a string come here again to Look at this now. L1 is equal to set of all string of length 2. Set of all string of length 2. Now, if we solve this, the first thing we need to do is to don't forget that our string is generated from what? Alphabet. So we have to go back to the alphabet by saying the alphabet symbol, which is sigma, and your set 0, 1, right? 0 and 1. Then from here now we can generate our string of length 2. So generating our string of length 2, we could have 0. 0, sorry, 0, 0, right? We could have 0, 1. We could also have 1, 0, and what? 1, 1. So that's what it is. A set of all strings of length 2. Length 2. So from this 1 and 2, we've been able to generate this. A set of all strings of length 2, total, in, to give us symbols, uh, symbols, you can see we have one, two, three, four. Now, what we mean length two? I simply mean one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's what I mean by length two. Now, another one, let's see. Uh, set of all strings of length three. So I'll rub this off. We'll do for length three now. Set of all strings of length Three. Of length 3 now, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. I can do 0, 1, 1. I can also do 1, 0, 0. I can also do 1, 0, 1, right? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, and what? One one zero one one one. No, we have one 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 zero and one one one. So this one now has given us total of what eight. So this is set of all strings. Set set of all strings. That means possible strings that of length three that can be generated from this alphabet. That's what it means. So we could do the possible strings of length three that can be generated from this alphabet are this. So when we say the length three, the length three means one, two, three. This is one set. One, two, three, another set. One, two, three, another set. One, two, three, like that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sets of length three strings. So, let's do another one. Another one now here is set of all strings that begin with zero. I'll rub this off and I will. Set of all strings that begins with zero. Set of all strings that begins with 
Jairo. <laughs> if it's just India, <laughs> just Indian guys. <laughs> say Jairo. Jiro. So, if we do this one, set of all strings that begins with zero, it simply means that we will forever have strings that begins with zero. And meanwhile, we are not giving lengths. So if we are giving length, that will restrict us. We, we have a restriction. But this time around, we are not giving length of the string. So therefore, we just keep having set of strings that begin with, in as much zero starts it. So we could have up to like 10 length of uh, string, length, length 10, length 8. So it is such question can only be answered. You, uh, when you answer it, now you could just start something. Just is zero, start zero or one. You could start one, zero. You could say zero. Oh, sorry. You could say zero, one, zero. You could say zero, zero, one. You could say zero, 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 one. So it goes that way to infinity. It doesn't have an end. So that's it for that. So to infinity. All right. Let us look at, I want to show us something quickly. Okay. Mm. Which one? Zero one. Zero one one. No, no, we are just we just pick at random. You can choose to probably align it, no problem. But we pick at random. Now let's look at this. We want to look at union and concatenation. Union and concatenation. Union and concatenation. Can I rub it off? Union and concatenation. So union and concatenation. Union and concatenation. See. Uh, nation. So let's let's use two sets, set A as an example for this, and set B zero one one zero one one one. So the union aspect is that's very simple. So the union we have firstly A union B, we know that one, which is zero one, right? Zero zero one zero one one and lastly zero one one one. That's a combination of the two uh, um, sets. The next one is said concatenation which is A concatenate B. Now, how is this done? <clears throat> it is just more like our, when we say expand. So this, pick this, this, pick this, this, pick this, this, pick this. So in the case now we can have Let's just bring them together. Zero one, zero, zero one, zero, zero, one. Then we say zero, one, one, 
zero one one one. So if we want to bring them together now, what do we have? It becomes what? Huh? Just like we have, we have this one now. Yes, we are multiplying. So this one will become... Now, the multiplication doesn't mean that you are taking this one and multiply, like normal multiplication of a binary. No. What it simply means is that this one mixed with this. Yes. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. This... This with this now, we have zero, zero, one, 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 right? This one now is zero, 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 one, one, one. And finally, this zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, 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 one. So, concatenation has taken place there, and that's all. Now another aspect I want to touch is power of power of sigma. Power of sigma, or we call it sigma power. I want to rub this off. Okay, so we rub this off and move on to sigma power. Sigma power. So, sigma power, sigma, let me use the word, let me just use the word. Sigma power. So, what does that really mean? So if I say sigma power zero, sigma power zero simply means set of all string of length what? Of length zero. So in this case now, I could have something like this. Uh, let's say this now. And my answer to this now will be set will now become what? Epsilon. So because in that case, it is uh, zero. So we have sigma power one, the set of all strings, st set of all strings of length, length what? Length one. And this is giving us this. So in this case now, what do we have here? Zero and one. Now, some of us, we ask a question. Ah, but you said sigma power one. How come do we still have zero, one here? Let's look up. What I mean by zero, one here, we should understand that the symbols in that, uh, the colibris, uh, the symbols inside this colibris, they are individual. They are not together. They are individual. So we could either use zero, or what or one so if we uh, if we consider them together then we will say that that they are what they are two so they are individual so it's either we use one or we use we use zero so that's why it is sigma power what power one now if we have sigma power two sigma power two the set of all strings of what of length two. So this one now, this is what this will give to us. You know, uh, normally when we did uh, this alphabet now, we could have zero, zero, right? Sigma power two, zero, one, right? One, zero, and one, one. So this is sigma power two. It's binary. What we do, we use is binary. So that is for that. What's your question? 
Okay. Mm. Exactly. That's where we are going to now. So because we can't keep having this kind of thing. You get it now. There are sometimes you'll be giving sigma power eight. Of course, you cannot. Where, how, where do you want to start that one? And how do you want to end? It will take time. It will take time. You get it now. So what we just have to do is, when we are giving that set, it, sh it shows that you we are here. We are here together. So this one now, if we have sigma power n, that set of what? Set of all strings of length what? Of length of length n. And um, now well, from what you just said now, we have the cardinality. Yes, that's cardinality. Cardinality means the number of what? Of elements in a what? In a set. So this is sigma power n equal to 2 to the power of what? n. So if we are given a particular number of power of sigma, all we just have to do is to do 2 to the power of that number of the sigma given to us power of sigma given to us and that's what that okay uh, we've done <clears throat> another word for that uh that's this thing we did what was the name i'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember union Sometimes you will see sigma star like this. This sigma star, the, it is the possible string, the possible set of all, uh, is the set of all possible string of all lengths over zero and one. That means as, as many sets that are available in that, at that moment, the set of all of them, you know, in union, we combine all the sets together. All right? I mean, this sigma star, it is the same thing to that union we talked about. See, because sigma star here simply means is the set of all possible words, all possible strings of all lengths over alphabets. The set of all possible string of all lengths over alphabet. That's sigma, that's sigma star. And I was I also said that it's the same as union. Same as union. That's that the definition alone will let you know that this thing is referring to union. Okay, so this brings us to the end of Notation of uh, theory of computation, mathematical notation. So the next phase now we'll be looking at is we want to start the rework where we begin to implement all these things. Because since these ones are now we've learned them, the next thing we need to do is to, okay, how do we start applying them to our daily work? So, um, that will be, let's leave that one for the next video.